All right, today is October 21st, 2013. Well, first of all, congrats to all those uh, Netflix uh, uh, longs, and uh, they certainly hit it out of the park here. Uh, it's actually, uh, it, it, it did hit the uh, pretty much close to what the option market was pricing in the after hour. Uh, right now, you know, it seems like it's, it's uh, sitting somewhere around the 394. If you take a look at the intraday, it actually closed at somewhere around 354. And over the weekend, I was looking at the um, uh, you know, option market uh, pricing to price in. It was somewhere around $40. So I think the uh, price kind of moved a little bit uh, ahead of itself and, uh, you know, prior to earning on a regular hour session. So, uh, you know, with the $40 or so, you know, certainly, uh, you know, that uh, brings it up to this uh, 394 But uh, don't believe this is uh, over yet. I think there's uh, still a little bit more to go. Although right now, you know, it's kind of, uh, uh, pumping up against this uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement here. If I uh, put this back up, uh, you know, on this, uh, you know, uh, 161, and so so that's a little bit of a, uh, you know, resistance. But if we uh, go back and take a look at the uh, weekly, I also have a Fibonacci retracement here on the weekly, and in the uh, you know 141, we're essentially uh, looking at somewhere around 412 dollar. So conceivably, you know, Netflix could uh, still uh, continue to move higher, and definitely uh, for those that are not uh, that are not long on Netflix, you don't want to go and chase it right now because it's uh, you know very hard to uh, define where's the uh, risk and reward here. So it basically just uh, you know kind of wait until some kind of pullback and uh, look for some sort of a setup for you to go long if it's continuing to move up. Then uh, the uh, next one uh, for earnings that is coming up will be Amazon. And Amazon is scheduled to report its earnings uh, after the close this Thursday. And you can see uh, right now, let's uh, go back and take a look at the, uh, uh, quickly uh, take a look at the uh, intraday. So it's kind of pulled back a little bit today uh, compared to, uh, you know, uh, last Friday, big run. And also, if we uh, look at the uh, historical weekly chart, it's still kind of confined within this uh, price channel here, you know, this uh, uh, from the low of 2009. And it's appeared that it is bumping up against the uh, the upper trend line on this price channel, but uh, that doesn't mean anything. It's just like Netflix, it could just blow right to it. And right now, if, um, you know, earnings were to be reported, and the market is actually pricing in somewhere around $22 on the, uh, you know, plus or minus $22. So if we add this up there, the 22 that's uh, somewhere around the uh, 49, you know, 349, 350. So it would be uh, basically up here at this uh, 161 extension on this uh, Fibonacci retracement. So uh, definitely, um, you yeah, right now with the uh, market, uh, you know, running higher, and it seems like all these high beta, uh, big cap uh, uh, tech stock with these earnings report. It doesn't take much to uh, blow it out the park here. And uh, tomorrow there's a big event, a uh, product announcement for Apple, and uh, looks like uh, Apple is already moving in the after hour. And if we go back and take a look at the uh, intraday, you know, it kind of closed at 521 uh, during the uh, normal session. And, uh, and then also, uh, you know, on the uh, you know, uh, weekly chart, you can see that it's a nice little uh, sort of a, a double bottom rounding up uh, coming up here. And it certainly seems like it's going to come up and uh, tag this 555 area uh, right now. And after our close at uh, 526. So wouldn't be surprised to uh, see it come up and uh, tag this uh, 555 at 141 extension, either to this product announcement or the coming week, you know, run it up to, um, to earnings. So right now, uh, definitely a lot of these high beta stock is still running. If uh, you try to short this market, uh, you got to be crazy. So if you don't believe in these, uh, these momentum stock uh, have much more higher level to go, uh, just stand in the sideline and wait until they uh, run itself out and get exhausted before you even consider about shorting these guys. Because definitely uh, it could cost you a lot of pain if you uh, try to short these uh, these stock, so uh, I mean these stock here. So good luck to everybody on the trading uh, this uh, you know tomorrow.